ya msifu bwana everybody who has breath kila mwenye pumzi ya msifu bwana everybody with the breath should praise Asha, the lord asha biblia inasema na kila kilicho nacho kimsifu mungu and the bible say that in everything that is within us should praise the lord <laughs> so i listen kwa hivyo nikasikiliza i go on the bike nikapanda baskeli ninapoendesha baskeli kwenye mchanga naanza kusuasua then i say i need to follow papa's instruction alafu najiambia lazima nifuate maagizo ya babu so i get all by kwa hivyo natoka kwenye baskeli and i am looking for a tree na natafuta mti and as i get to the tree i'm thinking but there's no need for me to put this against the tree na napo naposongelea mti nasema ah kwa nini niegeze baskeli hapa alafu nianguke mwenyewe So what pa, what Gogo was saying was I should get off the bike. He was basically saying I should get off the bike. Kile alichoniambia papa yangu ni kuwa mimi nitoke kwenye baiskeli. And when I toka kwenye baiskeli I'm not going to fall. Na ninapotoka kwenye baiskeli kamwe sitaanguka. You see I was using the wisdom of the old man. Unajua nilikuwa nikitumia hekima ya yule mtu mzee. You don't need to suffer si lazima uteseke when there is a grace carrier kama kuna mbeba neema can you tell your friend you don't need to suffer when there's a mbeba neema mwambie jirani yako jirani yako si lazima utoseke ili hali you pana mbeba neema when you do not have a mbeba neema utateseka tu pale ambapo hamna mbeba neema because mbeba neema is put in your life kwa sababu mbeba neema yeye anachukua maisha yako to teach you the same lessons Aku... that mateso would have taught you but while sitting on the chair and drinking tea na akufundishe somo lile lile ambazo ambalo mateso yangekufundisha lakini wakati huu umekaa kwenye kiti unakunywa chai you don't have to be bitten by a snake si lazima uumwe na nyoka and then you say whoa when you look at and you see something like that it bites because someone will already tell you when you see something like that it bites so keep away si lazima uumwe na nyoka I, ili hali umeambua na mtu kuwa ukiona kitu kama hicho kinatembea kama nyoka kimbia kwa sababu kitakuuma Did you hear me? Jo umenisikia? It's so simple is it? Jambo rahisi sivyo? Tell your friend. It's mwambie, so simple is it? Mwambie jirani ni rahisi sivyo? You will learn utajifunza same exact lesson somo masomo yale yale that mateso would have taught ambayo mateso yangi likufundisha just by walking with someone experienced kwa kutembea tu na mtu ambaye ni mzoefu because god brings them zoefu kwa sababu mungu anamleta mtu mzoefu into your life maisha ni mwako so that mateso cannot be your teacher ili mateso yasiwe mwalimu wako <laughs> And what I have found in the church Na kile ambacho nimegundua kanisani People would rather have the mateso Watu afadhali wawe na mateso and reject them beba neema Na wanamkana mbeba neema They say you cannot speak into my life Wanasema huwezi kunena maishani mwangu You need him because he will save you from lessons that mateso will teach you Unamhitaji kwa sababu atakuokoa na yale matomo ambayo mateso atakufundisha So those that want mateso to teach them Kwa hivyo wale ambao wanataka mateso yawafundishe We will learn the hard way. Watajifunza kwa njia ngumu. Sometimes you may not even make it. Mara nyingine hata hutapenya, hutafanikiwa. So I'm giving advice. Kwa hivyo natoa ushauri. The best way to learn. Njia bora ya kujifunza. Descend. Hebu tambua. A grace carrier. Ni nani mbeba mbeba neema? And connect yourself. Na ujiunganishe naye to them beba neema yule mbeba neema tell your friends mwambie jirani yako mbeba neema mbeba neema will keep you from mateso atakulinda kutoka kwa mateso <laughs> did you hear me jo umenisikia the pain you would have experienced ile bala au chungu ambao ungeupitia you will be saved from the pain utaokolewa kutoka kwa so chungu hiyo connection to mbeba neema kupitia kuunganika na mbeba neema you've got to be foolish lazima wewe uwe mpumbavu to learn through mateso kupitia kujifunza na mateso when god has already given you mbeba neema wakati mungu amekupa ah, wewe mbeba neema tell your friend god is good mwambie jirani yako mungu ni mwema he's already supplied in my life tayari amenipa mashani mwangu mbeba neema mbeba neema and this mbeba neema na huyo mtu will make me learn things that i would have learned the hard way atanisaidia nijifunze mambo ambayo ningelijifunza kupitia njia ngumu very simple rahisi hivyo Mateso 
will teach you when you are stubborn. Mateso yatakufunza wewe ukiwa mkaidi. Mateso will be your teacher. Mateso yatakuwa mwalimu wako when you reject the easier shortcut that God has established. Unapokana njia fupi ile ambayo Mungu ameiweka. Mateso will become your teacher. Mateso yatafanyika mwalimu wako when you reject what God is put in your life. Unapokana kile ambacho Mungu amekiweka maishani mwako. The prodigal son, mwana mpotevu, ejects himself from his father. Anajitoa kutoka kwa baba yake and he goes to a far away country. Na anasafiri nchi mbali. Had only he remembered that he can learn beautiful lessons by sticking close to his father. Kama, he would not have left for a far away country. Kama angejifunza tu, atambue kuwa ningelijifunza masomo mazuri sana kama nitakaa karibu na baba basi asingelisafiri nchi ya mbali. So he left. Kwa hivyo alisafiri akaondoka. Whilst there, na alipokuwa kule, he has no money. Hana hela. He becomes a beggar. Anafanyika omba omba. Then he joins himself to the rich man of the area, the citizen of that country. Alafu anajipendekeza kwa yule tajiri wa nchi hiyo and the guy sends him to take care of pigs na tajiri huyo anamtuma akatunze nguruwe wake at how much per week na hela zake ni ngapi mshahara wake kwa juma zima nothing halipu kitu what's that word for nothing bure bure that's the one i'm looking for he was employed and would be given bure aliandikwa kazi na mshahara wake ni bure whilst he's busy na akiwa akishughulisha he discovers that he has nothing to eat so he starts eating what the pigs are eating anagundua kuwa hana chakula chakula kwa hivyo anaanza kula kile chakula cha nguruwe and the bible says na biblia nasema whilst in that state akiwa katika hali hiyo tell your friend that was mateso mwambie jirani yako hayo yalikuwa mateso whilst he was in this mateso alipokuwa katika hali hii ya mateso and he takes what the pigs are eating and he begins to eat it himself. Nguruwe hao wanangania chakula na nguruwe. Now that's really mateso, isn't it? Sasa kweli hakika hayo ni mateso. The Bible says, Biblia nasema, he started thinking about the servants in his father's house. Alianza kutafakari kuhusu watumishi katika babu katika nyumba ya baba yake. Then he says, you know what? The servants in my father's house are eating poached eggs. <laughs> Bread na akasema watumishi they've got honey katika nyumba baba yangu wanakula mayai yakaangwa wanakula asali and here i am na mimi niko hapa inside mateso katikati ya mateso you know what i'm going to do je unajua nitafanyaje i'm going to go back to my father nitamrudia baba yangu And when I get back to my father na naporudi kwa baba yangu I'm going to tell my father nitamwambia baba I have sinned against heaven nimetenda dhambi kinyume na mbingu I have sinned against you na nimekutenda dhambi make me one of your servants hebu nifanye mimi mmoja wa watumishi wako because I am better off kwa sababu hali yangu itakuwa bora connected to you as a servant nikuunganishwa nawe kama mtumishi wako hello I am better off. Hali yangu itakuwa bora. Learning the lessons. Kujifunza masomo from you. Kutoka kwako in your house. Nyumbani kwako as a servant. Kama mtumishi than being taught the same lessons by Mateso Kuli... whilst we eat and share the nguruwe's food. Kuliko kujifunza masomo hayo hayo nikiwa katika Mateso nikingania chakula na nguruwe. Tell your friend Mateso. Mwambie rafiki yako Mateso. I'm not meant for you. Mateso si sehemu yako. Mateso si sehemu yako. Mateso are meant for those that eject themselves from their father. Mateso ni ya wale ambao wanajitoa kutoka kwa baba yao. Those that God says to them, you've got to be connected to this individual and say I, I, I don't care. I don't want. Then God says, I'm going to teach you the same things that the father would have taught you but i'm going to use the instrument called mateso 
mateso ni kwa, kwa, kwa wale ambao wameagizwa jiunganishe na mtu huyu na hao wanasema sitaki Mungu akasema basi wewe nitakufunza masomo haya yale yale ambao ngilifunzwa na mtu huyo Some of you are wondering Wengine wenu wanaangaikangaika and you say man I've prayed I've fasted I've done things but I'm still busy getting deeper into mateso Wanasema nimeomba nimefunga nimefanya kile lakini bado naingia ndani katika mateso I don't see my end Sioni mwisho wangu ni upi I've got to borrow from Paul to Paul to pay Peter na lazima nimuombe Paulo Paulo huyu ili nimlipe Petro yule So the, this debt keeps going from in I mean big mateso. Kwa hivyo deni hili lina hama tu kutoka huyu kwa huyu mateso. When you are in those matesos. Ukiwa katika mateso hayo, my question is. Swali langu ni hili. Don't you want to jump over? Je, hutaki kuruka and start using a shortcut? Na uanze kutumia njia fupi. Tell your friend there is a njia fupi. Mwambie jirani yako kunayo njia fupi. There is a njia mfupi. Kunayo njia fupi. And the njia mfupi, na njia fupi hiyo identify a grace carrier. E, ebu weza kutambua ni nani mbeba neema. Are you with me? Pamoja. Then connect yourself to Alafu, the mbeba neema. Jiunganishe wewe na yule mbeba neema. I want you to come. Nataka mama uje. And I, I pick it that you are also the grace carrier of those guys. Na je ni kweli wewe ndio beba neema wa wale watu? So hoza. <laughs> kama kama ni hivyo njoo. The simplest way to get out of mateso. Njia rahisi ya kutoka kwenye mateso is you come. Ni unakuja and you say. Na unasema I descend grace. Natambua kuna neema. I prayed and I fasted. Nimeomba na kufunga. The more I pray, the more the matitizos come. Ninapozidi kuomba ndivyo matatizo yanakuwa mengi. It sounds or seems like the heavens are closed and made up of steel. Nikana kwamba mbingu zimefunikwa na chuma. But I want a shortcut. Lakini nataka njia fupi. I'm tired of kuteseka. Is that the right word? Teseka? I'm Nime, tired of nime, nime choka na kuteseka kuteseka. So I've come for a shortcut. Kwa hivyo nimekuja nipate njia fupi. I want to connect. Nataka nijiunganishe. I want to connect. Nataka nijiunganishe. Because my connection to a grace carrier. Kwa sababu kuunganika kwangu kwa yule mbeba neema removes my matesos. Ya inaondoa mateso yangu. Hello. When you guys come and say I need to connect. Enyi watu mnapokuja na kusema ningependa kuunganika. Those that were close those that remained closed malango ambayo yalikuwa yamefungwa automatically open bila kizuizi yatafungua not because of your capability si kwa sababu ya uwezo wako but because god has now decided lakini kwa sababu mungu ameamua sasa he has come back amerudi he wants to learn anataka kujifunza through connection kupitia kuunganika he has learned that mateso amejifunza kuwa mateso are not a good teacher si mwalimu mzuri but when a father figure sits you down lakini baba anapokuketesha you can get exactly the same thing mateso would have taught you utapata mafunzo yale yale ambayo ungelipewa na mateso but this time lakini wakati huu by being guided so you lead me kwa kuongozwa so you lead me niongoze basi <laughs> you see where she goes An- popote anapokwenda i go mimi nakwenda God uses her Mungu anamtumia yeye as an experienced individual Kama mtu mzoefu she remembers Anakumbuka when she went through let's go when Kile. she went through some things Anakumbuka alipopitia baadhi ya mateso There were tough times that she experienced Walikuwa na vitu vigumu So the lessons that she learned the hard way Kwa hivyo masomo aliyojifunza kwa njia ngumu I don't have to learn the hard way again Mimi si lazima nijifunze kupitia njia hiyo hiyo ngumu Thank you <laughs> So when you come and say connect Kwa hivyo unapokuja na kusema unganika you know she the grace carrier unajua kuwa yeye ambaye ni mbeba neema will help you avoid pitfalls atakusaidia kuruka mashimo because she's been there kwa sababu yeye amepitia hapo remember this and Kumbu, i'm about to finish kumbuka hili ninapomalizia 
before God could choose Moses to be the leader of the Israelites kabla Mungu amteue Musa kuwa kiongozi wa Israeli mateso taught Moses how to walk in the wilderness without being followed mateso yalimfundisha Musa kupitia jangwani kujikani kule so he would eat this fruit and it, the following day he has a pain kwa hivyo angelikula tunda hili alafu kesho yake anaumwa na tumbo then he puts a mark alama alafu anaweka alama hili sili we don't eat this hatuli hili he finds water somewhere anapata maji sehemu he drinks anakunywa maji hayo then he has problems in the na anapata shida kwenye tumbo then he puts alama here we An- don't drink anasema hapa hatunywi maji haya but the lessons that moses is learning is learning whilst he is alone lakini masomo haya ambayo Musa anajifunza anajifunza akiwa yeye peke yake when he graduated from the matesos school Alip- of ministry alipohitimu kutoka shule ya huduma ya mateso god sends him to egypt mungu anamtuma misri and says now you are ready to lead my people na akamwambia sasa uko tayari kuongoza watu wangu why god kwa nini mungu because we can make use of the knowledge you have kwa sababu tunaweza kutumia ule ufahamu ambao uko nao and millions that you will lead mamilioni ambao utaongoza will now know because you say the last time i was here i ate this and i had problems guys don't touch sasa hivi watapata maarifa kwa sababu utawaambia nilipokuwa kule nilikula tunda hili ndugu zangu msile I remember passing through here. Nakumbuka nikipitia hapa. There is a stream down there. Kuna kijito pale chini. It looks so nice. Kijito hicho kinavutia. But when you get inside there. Lakini unapoingia pale. There are things that bite you. Kuna vitu ambavyo vinakudunga dunga. Keep away from this clear water even though it looks nice. Usisongelee maji haya ingawaje yanavutia. What is t- what is causing the Israelites to walk nicely in the wilderness is the mateso that had previously taught Moses but Moses is transferring the information to them. Sasa ni kitu gani ambacho kinawafanya wana Israeli watembee jangwani bila kulipa gharama ni yale mateso ambayo Musa aliwapitia sasa hivi anawaambia You can let Mateso teach you. Unaweza kuruhusu Mateso kufundishe or you can just connect. Au unaweza kujiunganisha. And when you connect, unapojiunganisha, you learn the same lesson. Unajifunza masomo yale yale that Mateso would have taught you. Ambayo Mateso yangelikufundisha. But this lessons you learn. Lakini masomo haya ambayo unajifunza, you didn't learn the hard way. <laughs> Utajifunza kwa njia ngumu. Let's stand. Tusimame. <laughs> so I am giving a lesson. Sasa mimi nimekuwa nikifunza to those that want to learn the hard way. Somo hili kwa wale ambao wameamua kujifunza kwa njia ngumu. And say it's not it's not a problem. Unasema ah si shida. If you've got the muscles to learn the hard way go for it. Kama una misuli ya kupitia njia ngumu basi endelea. But we will know that you are a foolish guy. Lakini sisi tutajua kuwa wewe ni mpumbavu. Because God has already established. Kwa sababu Mungu tayari ameimarisha. Someone that's experienced. Mtu ambaye ni mzoefu. And all you have to do. Na kitu cha kufanya is to connect. Ni kujiunganisha. So why does God bring a soul watcher? Kwa hivyo ni kwa nini Mungu anamuinua mtu anayekesha kwa ajili ya nafsi zetu? so that he can teach us ili atufunze lessons Masomo. that would have cost us a lot masomo ambayo tungelipa gharama ya juu kuweza kujifunza tend to your friend mwambie jirani yako and say are you foolish jirani je wewe ni mpumbavu ask him are you foolish hebu jirani wewe ni mpumbavu do, do you really want to learn the hard way je ungependa kujifunza kupitia njia ngumu oh au you just connect ujiunganishe tu guys god bless you mungu awabariki <laughs> haleluya haleluya Praise the Lord. Wanasifiwe. Jesus Christ is Emmanuel. Yesu Kristo ni Emmanuel. It is something you establish in your heart. Ni kitu ambacho unakimarisha moyo wako.